السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم As you can see in front of you there is this letter ف ف ف Where does this letter come from? You tell the children that it actually lives in a house also. All the letters actually live in houses. This particular letter lives in the lip house. There you go. There is the lip house. And look at F. It doesn't really like to share his top floor with anybody. He lives all alone by himself on the top floor. That's F. The way to say the sound is the front two teeth actually hit the bottom of your lower lip and it's like the stomach of the lower lip that it 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 puts down it sits down on that and it's like saying the sound of flower the same sound as you say flower or the f sound is the way you say f now the church you have already taught the child b which you can see here and you can see these two skittle shaped shaped figures here and you tell the children we don't know who lives next to ba yet but look at that on the bottom floor three people live but on the top floor fa lives all by himself he says i don't want to share my house with anybody i want to live by myself up here and so there is fa all by himself all by himself or you know you can say by herself it's just the way you make up your story so that's up to you because remember ba was one of the sisters who didn't have a head and she sat on her stool and you know children can come up with all kinds of ideas and they'll say well why does ba live in this house when her sisters are in that house or they'll be saying things but alhamdulillah in the last so many years that i've been teaching they've never really asked me that but here they are fascinated with the fact that fa which is what you are emphasizing does not want to share her uh, his space with anybody he is living by himself so that is kind of something that the child associates with that letter that he likes to be on his own so it's easy it just is something that can familiarize him with that particular um, uh, kind of a key to the recognition of this letter that is f f and as you can see see that it's like it's like this uh, air that is coming out as i say it f and though i'm not saying it right now but there's that humps which is one of the uh, characteristics of f as we say it that there's a little kind of air that comes out it is more prominent when we stop at this letter but you can still say as you as you tell the child because every letter said with a little bit more um, exaggeration because again you're showing your, the child where the sound is coming from f f okay so that is the letter f assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh